Texas. Tonight's 6A non-district matchup between the Atascacita Eagles and the Clear Falls Knights. My name is Chan Spawn, and I am doing outstanding and excited to bring you the game live tonight on TexasLive.com. The Eagles of Atascacita feature a star running back in Patrick Taylor, and the Knights of Clear Falls rely on the big arm of junior quarterback Patrick Bias, and we have the opening kickoff. Clear Falls brings it back. Number five. Number five brings it back to about the 23-yard line. We'll call that 23-yard line. It's going to be first and 10 for Clear Falls Knights, and they bring out their offense starting again with the quarterback, Patrick Bias. He's a, a junior, 5'9", 170-pound junior. They got two wides, one at the top, one at the bottom. They got one back set. And they have a fullback that's set behind a, a task of Cedars running a 4-3 defense. Hand the ball off to it's number, I have to call that. Uh, that's going to be a short, uh, a short gain. We're going to go second and second and eleven. Actually, it was a short loss on that one. Tascosita is set up in their four-three defense. Clear, Clear Falls is uh, is huddling up uh, right about the fifteen-yard line, uh, five yards back. They break from the huddle. They're set up in one, two wide outs. Two wides at the top, one one wide out at the bottom. And they got a double back set. Quarterback throws bias, and it is incomplete. It's an incomplete pass for Clear Falls. That's going to bring up third down and 11 again. Ball was uh, thrown on the out, just out, just out of the hands of the wide receiver. Again, Clear Falls huddles, just five yards off the ball. Tessita in their 4-3 defense. They have, th uh, we call it a trip wide, three three wide receivers at the bottom, one at the top, and one one running back in the backfield. Uh, it's going to be a long snap, and the ball is underthrown to number 14 for Clear Falls. That is a three and out for Clear Falls. They t the punt team comes out. All right, the, the, the first quarter of this game is brought to you by TexansDrive.com. Head on over to Texans Drive dealerships located on Will, Will Clayton and 59 for great specials and deals on new and pre-owned vehicles. Go in and ask for head coach Burt Brocker. Shop Texans G GMC Buick, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram 24-7 at TexansDrive.com, where we treat you better. It looks like a shank punt there. Tessita actually picks up the ball. That punt may be netted nine, maybe ten yards. Attack Cedar is now coming out with their offense for the first time of the game. They're going to have a first and ten at the 29-yard line. So they're going to have 29 yards to go for a touchdown. If they can get that there. But So Attack Cedar huddles up. And they come out with their, again, Attack Cedar's outstanding young Running back in Patrick Taylor. Your timeouts today are going to be brought to you by 10 Barbecue and Steaks.com. It's 281-852-5577 for more information on authentic barbecue. Shotgun formation. It's a keeper. It looked like maybe it was a, a fumble snap, but that is a sack for Clear Falls. Uh, it's going to be they're going to be close to the 40-yard line, so that's going to be quite a big loss. Uh, quarterback Devon Boyd, junior quarterback Devon Boyd. It looks like they missed the snap on that. And uh, he decided just to fall on the ball. Test seated now going in no huddle. You got three wide receivers are going to be to the left, one wide receiver to the right, and a single back in the backfield. Ball thrown deep and actually short on that. Looks like that he was trying. It looks like uh, quarterback Boyd was trying to get the ball to his slot receiver. The ball was just thrown short today. All right. Tessita is going again with a no huddle. Clear Falls is running a four-man four front with two linebackers 
and it looks like five DBs. Again, Atassi comes out with a three wide receiver set on one side, one on the other, and a single back in the backfield on a shotgun. Quarterback back to pass, wide open. It looks like a catch. And that's going to be a catch made by, by Atascacita on the 10 yard line. Looks like that was Atascacita. And they're now on the 10 yard line. Uh, again, I got a single back, two wide receivers on each end. Quarterback Devin Boyd is looking at the head coach, getting his play set up. And Clear Falls is in a their four, four man front. Looks like quarterback keeper. Is he going to pitch? No, straight for the end zone. Did he get in? Where are they going to spot? So they spot the ball at about the half yard line for Tascasita. So Tascasita again right now going with a no huddle. Quarterback Boyd is looking at. Looks like Tassie is changing out personnel on that play. They got two wide receivers at to the to the right, one right receiver to the left, and two men in the backfield now. With the uh, he's going nowhere on that one. Clear fall stops stops Tassie's forward progress after about a five yard loss on that one. Tassie is now third down. Again, they're going no huddle. All players are checking back at the, the sidelines. Three wide receivers, one on the other side, a single back set, a shotgun formation. Boyd gets the ball, throws the ball up. It is now complete to Dewad Short. Touchdown to Tascasita. Dewad Short. Wide receiver Dewad Short. So with eight minutes, 42 seconds left to go in the first quarter, that touchdown today is going to be by, brought to you by Allsfall's Allspa, Ace Hardware. And we do appreciate them being one of our sponsors. Allsfall's Ace Hardware. And this, again, the touchdown is brought to you by Allsfall's Ace Hardware. We're uh, at Ace Hardware. So much more. Welcome, everyone, to the Texans live coverage of high school High school football presented by Texans Drive, coming live from coming live from Humble, Texas. Again, that touchdown is bought, brought to you by Allsfall's Ace Hardware. We'd also like to bring in another, bring in our, the the sponsors for our uh, Tin Roof. You can check out Tin Roof at Tin Roof Barbecue and Steaks dot com. It's two eight one eight five two five five seven seven for m for more information on authentic Texas barbecue. And if you do get a chance to get out there, that Tin Roof is a great barbecue place. Try the monster. Eight different meats on that bad boy. All right. Well, Tascasita comes up. They get uh, clear falls on a, on a a shank punt. So Tascasita takes an opportunity on that and gets their first touchdown. Of the night, it's be seven nothing with 8:42 to go in the first quarter. Tascacita Eagles seven, Clear Falls Knights nothing, and we got the kickoff. All right, Tascacita is getting ready to kick off again to Clear Falls. We got two two deep men back. Ah, that's about uh, receivers receives about the 15 yard line, and there was a big hit right there by Tascacita. Returner brings it up to about the 28, 29 yard line for Clear Falls. And Clear Falls will start now with their second possession. Let's see if they can, uh, Clear Falls can get anything going on the uh, on their offense and their their Patrick Bias quarterback. They won't be able to get any, a whole lot started there in that first series. But as they run out from the sidelines here, they're going straight onto the field. No huddle this time. We're going to have two wide receivers at the bottom. We've got a tight end in the game and a deep running back. Two, we're going two deep, two deep running backs. In a, some of an eye formation. Quarterback's getting ready to go straight under center. Referee's getting ready to start the play, waiting for the officials on the sidelines. Looks like we had something going on. On the sidelines here, the 
Referees are talking to, uh, to the coach. We got something going on in the background. Can't really tell what's going on. Both seem to be pointing to the stands. Referees are getting back into position. The referees keep pointing to the sidelines. Like the, not sure exactly what it is that's going on. And now they're still huddling. The the, the referees are. They ever, they're they're pointing to something that's going on in the stands. They can't exactly tell what it is. I don't know if it's a sign, maybe that the test the student body has, or if exactly what it is. But they're getting ready to start play again. And again, you have clear falls with two wide receivers at the bottom, two in an eye formation, one fullback. One, that there's a pitch to the halfback. Halfback. Ad, halfback runs to the to the uh, left side of the of the line for about a we'll call it an eight yard gain on that. So it's going to be second and two for the Clearbrook Clearbrook Knight. Or, I'm sorry, Clear Falls Knights. Pardon me, it's Clear Falls Knights. To clear, so the Knights are going to, to uh, huddle. Again, you got Atascacita in there. Four. Looks like a 4 2, but they got five defensive backs back. We got uh, the wide receivers, two at the bottom. We got another eye formation, full back and a half back. Quarterback pitches it. He's going nowhere on that play. Uh, that's about a three yard loss on that one. Let's uh, go to commercial. <clears throat> Pardon me, folks. All right, we got <laughs> clear, clear, clear Falls comes out of their huddle. They got two wide receivers coming down from on the, on the lower, lower end to the left side. He's going to roll out. Quarterback's going to roll out. It makes the pat. That is at completion. Looks like that might be for first down there for Clear Brook. Actually, Clear Falls again, which would be Clear Falls first first down of the game. And it is. They're going to call themselves a first down. So Clear Falls then starts their huddle again.
Moving inside, we'll check our flags. Inside here now, folks, number six, back to Taylor Jr. He's brought down by Homestar, nice inside. Led by number 44, Don Neese. Eagles will be stopping no game. To bring up third and five. This pass is complete. Now we're the 13 with a nice reception. That's going to be first down yardage. That will move the chains. He goes first and 10. Now we're going to have a second down and five. Now we're going to have a second down and five. Now we're going to have a second down and five. Now we're going to have a second down and five. Equipment timeout, a 
task of sale, number 29, is very well required equipment. Time out, the task of sale, that is the first time out of the half. We're going to take first time out of the half. We're looking at the scoreboard. We're going to give a big shout out to Max Ball, located on Wilson Road. Max Ball is your home for family fun and entertainment. Visit MaxBall.com for family fun information. Again, Max Ball located right here on Wilson Road.
Wrestling in your first row of play with the Leo Swinger and Garcia. Robin Chevrolet, the longest operating Chevy dealership in Houston with 86 years of service. Robin's is the go to Houston area Chevy dealer located right here in Uncle Island on Highway 59. Sixteen for the Knights. The player will be number twenty-six, Trent Martin. Again, back to number twelve, Eric Solari, and over number twenty-three, Devin Hopper.
Keep it off. Ready to hit. Take three on back to the right. This time, number three, all the time, Hanif Mohammed. Oh, stop. For those Eagles, all that killed off team. Number four, Traylon Hutchinson. Knights will take over. First and 10, 11 remaining second quarter. Ross final on the 24 yard line. Pitch back goes to number 20. Again. On the stop for the Eagles, number 25, Nicholas Caldwell. Also number 32, Brighton Thompson. On that carry again, number 20, the workhorse, please do it.
Nice. Again, Maxwell located right here on Wilson Road. Maxwell is your home for family fun and entertainment. For all you players out there, visit Maxwell.com for family fun and, and information.
with the ball crossing the Eagles on the way pass number 62. Offense was down the field. And that was a little down the field on the offense. Six twenty-five remaining in the first half. Third and one for the Eagles. Lost on the ground, the thirty-one yard line. Going on the quarterback scramble. We'll be brought down by number 56. Then Joe Justin, all over the 35. But again, we'll turn no flags. Number two play will be third and six. Lost by the third one yard line. Here we go! Number pass says high in the three. Attended the number 15, A.J. Smith. On the cover, George Humphrey. Very good flags, we'll take a flag. Holding on the offense, number 76. Touchdown, 
Billy stepped off, the Eagles are kicking off in the 45 yard line. He's the Eagles kicking on set in the end zone with a touchback. We cut off the 35 yard line, and that's where the Knights will take over. First and 10.
Inside handoff again goes to the work balls. For the Knights, number 20, Reese Wood. Coming off the right two yard loss. Getting up off the bottom of the pile, number 65, Avante Broussard. Along with number 71, Kendrick Buford. Going to bring up third and 13 for the Knights. Great. 
Passes it in for 13 Corey Fairman. The Fairman fair in goal in the six yard line. He's up. He's good. Kids Place, family owned and operated. Trusted by parents. Love by kids. Again, up on the big screen, Kids Place. Learning Center and Daycare. Another sponsor from Care to Families, and the late use of the key in there for more than 30 years. Offering world class care, close to home. Memorial Herman Hospital.
Free pass out to Ritter. Pick up the two-yard touchdown rebound. And he's going to have Kazai Peacock. And he's going to have a touchdown.
eight seconds remain in the first half. The Knights will have first and ten. Ball will be spotted on the 39 yard line. First half to play, we will really enjoy the good half time to the song, We're Not Gonna Take It.
Big Cobb Emeralds. The Emeralds are ready for the direction of Chelsea Gavin and Emma Shaw. Quarterfalls Emeralds would like to thank all their sponsors for their support. A special shout out to Texas Farm Bureau Insurance, Kristen's Gifts and Decor, Sage Commercial Group, and Ocean Flow International for their diamond line contributions. Also, Simcox Insurance Agency, Clear Lake Business Service, David R. Simcox, Jeffrey W. Ball, BBS Orthodontist, and RC Home Services for their Enchanted Emerald Line contributions. Continuing tonight's halftime entertainment, we proudly present the Clear Falls Knights Marching Band and Color Guard. This year's show is titled Ascend, with music arrangements by Daniel Montoya and Kevin Erickson, with drill design by Mitch Rogers. Knights Band members of the week are Brass Section, Jacob Parker, Woodwind Section, Hector Padron, Percussion Section, Adrian Aguirre, Color Guard Member of the Week, Laura Lee Rowland. The Knights Band is under the field direction of drum majors Ella Heights, Ella Barwick, and Chris Lady. The Color Guard Captains are Sarah Ford and Jada Weston. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Clear Falls Knights Marching Band and Color Guard for their performance of Ascend. Gentlemen, give it up for the award-winning Clear Falls Knights Band and Color Guard. The band is directed by Russell Zavala and Nick Keel, with assistance from Martin Kiroga, Aaron J, George Swan, and Isaac Ancina. The Color Guard is directed by Sarah Cole and Christian Morehouse. 
Tonight's band and color guard would like to thank all their sponsors for their support. Special thanks to League City Family Dentistry.
Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the Atascocita High School Pride of the Eagles Military Marching Band. The band is led on the field by drum majors Curtis Nation and Mike Rusick. The flag line is led by Captain Jada English and First Lieutenant Sabrina Cruz. Section of the week are the tubas and marcher of the week is Flavio Castro. Tonight's music includes the traditional march, them laces by Huffline. Ladies and gentlemen, please get on your feet and clap along at the Atascocita High School Pride of the Eagles Military Marching Band performs the school fight song. The Atasca Cedar High School Band is directed by band directors Randy Countryman and Anthony Hicks. Head principal for Atasca Cedar is Bill Daniels. The next performance of the band will be next Friday night's football game against Flying Forest at Pine Memorial Stadium. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. One more time for announcing the raffle ticket for the Atasca Cedar cheerleaders. The raffle ticket number is 1932783. Thank you for supporting the Atasca City Cheerleaders.
We'll be with a few more of our sponsors again tonight. Go to Texan Dodge, located on Old Highway 59. Go back and see head coach Burt Walker, help preach you better. On the water, Chevrolet, the largest office operator, Chevy Hill Chevy Service. Walkers is the go to Houston area Chevy dealer. Also, Rosewood, Fever Home, founded in 1927. Rosewood is family owned and operated, taking care of families during difficult times. Along with Edward Jones, Edward Jones, helping individuals realize their long time financial goals. Max Ball, located right here on Wilson Road. Max Ball is the real home for family fun, entertainment. Visit maxball.com for family fun information. Bell Works, located off Kingwood Drive, where your personal therapy needs are always met. Kids Place, family owned and operated, trusted by parents, loved by kids. Moral Hunter Hospital, has been caring for family here at Houston and Kingwood area for more than 30 years, offering world class care close to home. And lastly, TexanLive.com, where folks are radio, video, streaming, and live with mobile ass new athletics. Watch the games live on
Put it off of the right to be number 17, Marshall Hart. Quarterback eight for the Eagles, number three, Ralph Campbell, number 12, Alaric Solari. As we start our second half, Number nine, Kevin Jones, again, very nice story. Here we go, first down, Marge. Again, number seven, Tyler Hassel, on the stop. Number 23, Tyler Hassel, on the stop. Number 16, Tyler Hassel, on It's a handoff for us, number 33, to call us the minute. He took it down about the 20 yard line, put him about two yards. Well done by number 66, Caleb Ray. Third round, second and eight.
Rosewood Funeral Home, founded in 1927. Rosewood Funeral Home, founded in 1927. Rosewood is family owned and operated, taking care of families during difficult times. In the backfield, number nine, Cameron Jones, along number 33, Carlos Demoretti. Quarterback, number five, Lou Schultz. And now, folks, number 21, on the jet. Here we go. 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 Here Number 35 is Dylan McGee for the Knights. There's the ball face mask. Seven and a half, half off, half the bases. Could be first and goal. Third and goals for the ball the right line. It's that hand up against number 33, Cameron Jones. Hand up about the end foot line. On the stop, number 32, Kenneth Alvina. Second goal. 33. Touchdown. Touchdown, Eagles. 814 and 80. Nicole Smith and with the touchdown. Shut up and take the fire.
Thank you. 
And up goes inside, number three, the Green Bay Taylor. Got down by number 60, number 60.
Back in the numbers, now the is in the table. He was able to stand there.
Quarterback number 11, Jerry Ford. Pass to the route number four. Swing on the relay. Third second down. Pass out to three. That's the big number 15. We'll check the flag. Personal foul, face mask. First down. As I talked last night, we'll be on the other side. You folks on the other side of the same group home tonight. We'll see you in the fans that want to say good home. See you next time. That's my big number four. We have second down.
One of the other things that is worth reading didn't happen. One of the other things that is Good night, Good night, 